hello beautiful people you're welcome once again to the channel to our channel guys you're welcome to staple creations guys thank you guys for your love and support so guys today we are going to be making our half scale bodice pattern our half scale bodice pattern you all know so what are the things that we need for this tutorial we'll be needing our pattern master our pencil marker tape glue our ruler so just a few things and of course our measurement what are the measurements that we'll be needing we'll be needing some of our vertical measurement and some of our horizontal measurement so guys make sure you measure yourself and put down your vertical measurement and horizontal measurement and work with your measurements guys so my lovelies this block here this pattern block here that i made this pattern block here that i made how do i come up with this pattern block just you divide the fullest part of your bust by two and add half an inch so for example the fullest part of your bust is 40 you divide it by two you have 20 when you add half an inch you know for ease for ease of allowance you add half an inch to it for ease of allowance so if you have 19 you add half an inch you know we have two sides then half half is one inch so that means if you have 19 you'll be having 20 to for your block here so when you divide 20 into two again you'll be having uh, you'll be having 10 10 inch so that half an inch just serve for ease without much talking I hope you have all your pattern so from here to this place vertically is my half length my half length my half scale bodice length not this these are just the allowances that I put all around before drafting out my main pattern that I'm going to be using right now so my main block sorry the main block that I'm going to be using right now so having said that you know that we are using the both that techniques and uh, our front and the back is not the same so for the front length is 17 and a half and my back length is 15 and a half so um the difference is two inches for the back i'm going to go up by two inches for my front for my back bodies there so let me mark out the two inches so guys i thought of using a green marker because so this is out of the way so my body stops here my back body stops here why my front body stops here right there so having done that let's quickly start up the tutorial in full the shoulder measurement is let me start this is the front and let's take this to be our back the shoulder measurement is 15 you put down half of your shoulder measurement the neck uh, Which is three inches and the depth is three inches So this is standard, but it doesn't work for everybody to get your actual neck depth The measurement that you're going to be using for the neck depth and neck width for the front guys, please divide your bust measurement by 12 Use whatever you got for the depth and the width it works guys it works pretty well so having marked out the curve of the neck there you slant your shoulder by one inches we are making shoulder slant by one inches not that you can also slant it by one and a half inches but for this tutorial we are slanting our shoulder by one inches so right there so from this one inches we are going to be marking out our chest line and how do you get your chest line guys is to measure your run armhole to get your chest line and if you don't have access to measure your run armhole what you will do is to divide the fullest part of your bust by six and add 1.5 inches that's how to get it then whatsoever measurement that you get you from this shoulder slant tip here you put it down so this case i have 7.5 so when you put it down from up you'll be having 8.5 you bring your 8.5 also down to this place and you rule your line across like so so 
So after ruling your line across, the next thing to do now is to bring down your 7.5 shoulder measurement there. And you connect with a dotted line. It doesn't matter. Or you connect with a straight line. This is what you'll be having. So having done this, the next thing we are going to do The next thing we are going to do right away is to measure and mark the half of our half of this uh, armhole line here. So having marked it out to get our armhole curve, you have to come in here by three quarter, seven five of an inch, and you put down your boss measurement right here. Put it down right here you see that so having having done that the next thing is to connect from the shoulder tip shoulder slant there you connect to the seven five of an inch armhole curve and then to your chest line this is what you'll be having guys this is what you'll be having. So the next thing now is the next vertical measurement is to mark out your boss point. In this case, it's ten and a half. You measure your own boss point to know the exact boss boss point that uh, the exact boss point that you have and um, note it down. So you rule your line across. So having done that, the next thing that you need to do, I hope you can see, the next thing that you need to do right now is to measure out your boss pan. Guys, the boss pan is the measurement between one boss to the other. Your boss pan measurement, you measure it. In this case, I have four. Before connecting it, you come down by an inch here. I hope you can see that. So you come down by an inch from the boss point. This is our boss point line, guys. Four inches boss pan. This is the boss point line there. Here is the boss point line. So I came down by one inches. Sorry about this dot here. Please disregard that. Just a little mistake. So we are going to be taking an inch, one inch that, half inch on both that leg, half inch on this that leg. You connect it to this. And uh, you connect this other that leg also. This is what you'll be having. So the next thing now to do is to put in our the boss uh, this area. So this is where we are going to be putting this difference here. So by the time you close your boss that, this is where we'll be putting our boss that. By the time you close this two inches boss that, you will notice that our front and back pattern will be same at the sides here. So note that this two inches different that is mine, the difference between the my front and my back is two inches. Some people have three inches different, an inch and half inches different, five inches different. It depends on your, your body shape. So it's not a standard. So before connecting my boss that, I'm also going to come in here by, go out from here by an inch. So I'll connect my boss that. So you may want to mark the midpoint and also connect. Like so. So the next thing now is to put in our waist measurement, inclusive the one inch that intake. Don't forget when you're putting in your waist measurement, remember to include this one inch that intake. So the normal waist measurement is 7.5 plus 1 inch that intake will have 
so at this point you connect from the chest line there to your waist measurement here so for this because when we close the bust that the pattern usually short so i'll take this half an inch here it's just an half an inch for ease that we added i'll just uh connect the dark leg like so so that when we close our boss that this will take care of the shortage at the end of the day so beautiful people this is how our front pattern is looking like all beautiful and well drafted out let's move over to the back pattern so for the back pattern is the same thing you put in your shoulder measurement Put in your shoulder measurement the same thing which is 7.5 that we did and uh, the width of the neck is same thing with the front but the depth is different we are taking an inch for the depth so you connect your back neckline So having done that, you connect your back neckline there. So same thing also, you come down by one inch, an inch, and connect the shoulder slope. So having done that, the same chest line that we got for the front, which is eight and a half from the top, you know from the shoulder slope is seven and a half, but from the top edge of our pan paper is eight and a half so you connect it like so so you bring down your shoulder measurement seven and a half here and you connect with a dotted line or with a straight line any which one guys so same thing same thing you can also put your ruler and get your midpoint but to be sure you still do the same thing you fold your tape if you are very fast in the mood you can calculate off head but i fold my tape guys <laughs> so for the back you're going to be coming in by just just your half an inch for the armhole curve before connecting your armhole curve you put the measurement of your bust right there i hope you can see that so you connect from the shoulder tip guys you must not connect it at once you can also connect from the shoulder tip to the midpoint here like so guys i'm just careful about this mark i don't want to ruin our pattern so from there you connect to here so it's not a must that you do it at once no 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 so having done that the next thing again is to put in our bust pan four inches here is no more inclusive please so you put in your bust pan four inches before connecting the dot you come down by an inch and you roll your line up to that inch one inch and you're going to be taking an inch that just like we took an inch that at the front and you connect the next thing now is to you know that our back our back is not straight so we are going to take half an inch for our back tightening you may want to take seven five of an inch or one inch but for this i just want to take half an inch for my back tightening and i will take the line straight to the boss to the chest line sorry you draw a line straight to the chest line 
and sometimes we also take it up here to the midpoint of this spot for this pattern i just want to have it there at the chest line so you put in your measurement then you measure from this contour line not from this main line anymore and you put in your waist measurement of 7.5 and one inch for the dot intake making it 8.5 so you connect your line so because of the contour and the dot intake it the chest line and the waistline here almost looks the same but when you take when you sew in your dart, you notice that everything will go in. So at the end of the day, the waist is still going to be smaller than the chest line. So don't let it bother you. So, beautiful people. This is how our basic pattern is looking. Looking all beautiful. So beauties, you watch the video over and over again and make sure you get it right. So... Let me quickly go over it again, guys. So, for this, especially this place, the difference between our front and the back pattern here is two inches. So, and uh, our front half length is 17 and a half, while our back half length is 15 and a half. So, you put in your shoulder measurement, put in your neck uh, measurement. You curve your armhole coming in, in here by three quarter of an inch. So for here, you take your bust band measurement, half of your bust band measurement, and you take one inch that, and you take your two inch bust that. Yeah. So same thing, you take your that at the back, and you come in here for your you know back tightening just to contour because our back is not straight yeah and for the back you come in for your armhole curve by uh, half an inch this is just all about it guys you watch the video over and over again and make sure that you have your pattern drafted out because we are going to be using this pattern for a lot of beautiful things to come so I'm going to cut it out so you see how I'm cutting out this pattern. So lovely. This is how our pattern is looking out beautiful. This is the front and this is the back pattern. So looking out beautiful guys. Please make sure you have your pattern ready because you are going to be using this beautiful pattern to make a lot of beautiful outfit. Make sure you have it ready guys. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I love you guys like I always say and see you guys on my next video. Bye.